Okay, sometimes you have to kill your darling. Hi guys, welcome to another painting tutorial. Today we're going to paint an orange birch. And we're starting right now. Now, I've been looking for some reference photos on the internet, but they're really hard to find because they are really rare and not many people catch them. So guys, as you can see, I just paint my blank white. Not because it's a repaint or anything, but because I tried this color yesterday and I wasn't pleased at all with the outcome. So that's why I'm going to try this again today with a I thought a little bit about the colors and uh, the way I did things and we're going to do it much better right now. So we're gonna start and put some depth in our uh, face. So we're gonna start with brown and we're gonna put some depth in the face, in the gill plates and all that stuff. So there we go. So guys, you might be asking yourself why brown why not black well the reason is if we put orange over black it's gonna get a little greenish and if you put orange over brown then you're gonna get a, a darkened orange effect because uh, orange is a part of brown so that's why we're darkening things with brown and not black right now so now we're gonna highlight all the things in the face again so we only keep a little bit of brown left in the in the deeper parts of the face So guys, now we got our depth in our in the head. As you can see, nice dark markings all there where they they are supposed to be. So now it's time to paint our lure with fluorescent orange. Now we're going to put on thin layers and we're going to keep the belly white. A little bit of belly and the underside we're going to keep white. So now guys I got some red in my chamber and if you look at our reference photo then you'll see he's got some lighter and darker spots as well in the scales so by using red we're gonna add some little darker orangey spots and we're doing that by a kind of splatter effect so that means I have my air pressure, air pressure on about one to 3 psi only so it's barely barely blowing it's almost nothing that's coming out so what's happening then it's it's going to splatter instead of shooting paint so that's where we how we can have a very control, controlled splatter effect and we're gonna splatter just the lower edges and just random spots basically as you can see it's just tiny details but it gives so much more depth to your lure as you can see I'm putting more red dots on the tail you get this really fine transition from orange to red so as you can see guys huge difference simple trick huge difference Alright guys, same technique, only now with black and uh, we're gonna use only 2 psi or something really 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 thin down black so it's it's like water consistency and we're gonna start our splatter on our perch now as you can see on the reference it's quite some black there but we'll try to keep uh, a lot of orange in between as well This is starting to look amazingly cool. Now at the tail you'll see there's also some black so we'll add some black there as well. So now guys if you look at the reference picture the top two fins are mostly black with a little bit of white in there. So I still have black in my chamber. I have a lot more air pressure now and we're gonna paint this black of course.
So guys, now we got our white and we're going to make some white detailing in between all the fin beams. That's how it is on the reference picture as well. I'm just making this very irregular so it gives a little texturized effect. So guys, now there's only one thing left to do and that's the fin. Or the last fin. So I went to the middle of the, the beginning of the fin where the muscle is. I want it to be a little lighter. And then we're gonna take a piece of cardboard. Put the fish like so. Carefully, we're gonna trace those fin beams a little bit. Like so. And like so. Also, I want the upper beam to be a little lighter than the rest of it. So guys, last but not least, we're gonna make our fin red. I'm gonna take my little stencil tool here, carefully. So guys, there's only one thing left to do, and that is put the eyes on. Now I'm gonna put the eyes on that came with the blank. nicely in there that is looking really good so guys if you look at our reference picture here then uh, you notice there's much more black going on on the back of the lure so I took a little of this natural sponge just a little piece I mixed up some black I thinned it down quite a little so it's um, a little bit more transparent and we're just gonna add some texture some blow some more black to our lure just by adding some texturized black here and there So we create more of these irregular spots and marks. So it really starts to look like a reference picture now. Some more black in there. Oh, this really looks neat. This really starts to look like a reference picture now. Very nice. And there we go guys. This is looking amazing. Now it really looks like the reference photo. That's beautiful, that's a really cool swim bait now, really cool. So guys, the lure is finished. And I gotta say, it really looks cool. It, it really matches with the, the reference picture. Uh, the pattern is really nice on this one. Really cool colors as well. Now guys, if you're interested in these blanks, these are from Lure Blanks. It's the 18 centimeter perch blank and it's a slow sink and the action is unbelievable. It swims like a real 
wounded perch. It's unbelievable. It also has two smaller brothers. It's uh, a 10 centimeters and a 14 centimeters if I'm correct. And those tend to sink much faster and their action is a little bit more subtle. Only uh, the head doesn't move that much. It's only the, the three last parts that move the most with those smaller guys. With the bigger one the head as well is really shaking its head all the time and, and like swimming like a real wounded perch it's really uh, I love this bait it's really cool and really nice to fish with for pike as well very effective I also want to give a shout out to Nikki Wood Nikki thank you so much for the support and the compliments it really warms my heart this is the reason why I do the videos and I want to thank you for your time to just uh, give me a compliment yeah it's really really nice so thank you so much Nikki if you're interested in painting something more realistic then I have a great video for you right here and if you want to see some more cool stuff then I have a great video for you right here thank you guys for watching happy holidays and I will see you next time bye bye